LDL or typical straight leg deadlift. It's exactly the same as it would be for a barbell. And we're going to start off with the weight in the middle of the feet, so just slightly behind the big toe joint. Okay. From there, we're going to remember that a RDL is a hip hinge. So we want to keep the upper body just set. So just brace through the core to keep a nice solid position here. So what we call like, you know, a neutral spine in inverted commas. We want to try and maintain as much as possible. But probably will happen as the weight gets heavier, as we come slightly into flexion. This is okay, provided we can create a little tension throughout the system. So we create that tension, then we're going to push back into the hips. Okay. So soften the knees, pushing back into the hips, back as far as we can get. You're starting to feel some hamstring tension coming the way down, even with just body weight, so we reach our kettlebell. Now you'll notice that my position won't change here, then I'm bracing up, and I'm just pushing the hips through, keeping that weight close to my centre of mass, then back down. The kettlebell is going to follow the line of the legs as my hips move back, and it's going to land back in the middle of the feet, in line with where it started, just mid-foot. I'm getting, even with just 20 kilos, Getting loads of tension in the middle of the hamstrings and the glutes. There will be some through the back, but it shouldn't be the predominant 